Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Vanished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! That counterfeit of a woman? Is that what she- wow. Oh no, I've been exiled from that organization I joined yesterday. What a tragedy. Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. Hmm, yeah, I think I made the right choice, honestly. They seem to be, uh, sentient garbage, basically. I'd rather not deal with them anymore if I could avoid it. And now I'll just fight them on sight. That sounds like fun. Now I, maybe I can just kill the entire... Can I go back to Ascalon and just kill the entire club? I bet I could take them. That'd be fun, right? They'd be like, fuck all these creepy guys. I mean, being a vampire that hunts vampires sounds like a fun trajectory to go down because then you can just eliminate all the vampires and you don't have to worry about the vampires in London anymore. They're kind of caused all this. Hey, old Bridget. You just kind of showed up. How's it? We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Econ. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? 
Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the Sewer Skulls and of so many other forgotten children. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. No time to lose then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. May as well commit to the idea of them being really, really into each other, because otherwise, what are what the hell are his other emotional attachments going to be in this world? Uh, how's the docs doing? Serious. Uh... Did I kill those guys today? No, there's no way. No, I, I killed them and then I slept, right? We're dealing with the consequences of after that. Because I can come after you, Miss Edwina Cox. Wouldn't that be great? But the game has already given me 10,000 goddamn experience, which really undoes the need for that cra Ah! They really f the, the entire progression system of this game just needs an overhaul so badly. We're going into there. Oh, I know, that's my my father's missing thing I can't find. I have to go all the way to Pembroke Hospital, god damn. I believe I found it, and I'm... Ugh, man, this quest can kind of fuck off. Yep, there it is. Aubrey Reed's second letter. Reed Mansion, 4th of April, 1908. My dear son, this is my second letter for you. If you find this one, it means you'll probably have shown the first part to your sister Mary and to my dear Emmeline. I think it's a good thing you don't keep to yourself what you discover. But I leave that for you to decide. Do you remember our long walks in the park? Your mother taught you your alphabet under the trees. I hid so many wonderful treasures for you and Mary in this park. You were both so clever, so brilliant. I've always known you'd both become great people. I've always been proud of you. I was never able to conceal my pride when I was asked what you wanted to be. He'll be, ever what he, he'll be whatever he wants. Your mother was convinced you would be a great... A great an artist like her. Oh, more typos. It's okay, it's just revelations about my father. Uh, your mother was convinced you'd be a great artist like her. You always like to read and write. I still keep your very first poem, like I keep Mary's first drawing. When you chose to follow medical studies, your mother was sagacious enough to cover her trepidations and her worries. Me? I was happy you did not become a dull banker like me. When you told us you wanted to pursue a career in medicine, to improve life for all, without consideration of wealth, I knew we, as your parents, had taught you the most important lesson of all, to respect each and every soul for what they are, not what they were, not what they have. If you want to know more, all you have to do is- oh, come on. All you have to do is remember which hospital you chose to apply for your first internship. I am, as ever, your loving father, Bobby Reed.
I had almost forgotten I applied for a position at Pembroke. It was so long ago. So now there's one in Pembroke. Ah. I might go kill Edwina. Just cause I... They, I can't... Um, I can't tell. The story kind of sounds like it might be wrapping up. Like the game might end. And I don't want that to happen. So I might go kill her out of spite. Uh, I'm a little worried because the docs are in serious condition. It's not critical condition though. And I did heal everyone. So it should be trending up. Hopefully. But it is the fourth death in one region. That's pretty much capping out the test there. I've avoided killing anyone in Whitechapel by and large. Partly because they're not the worst people compared to some of the other people, but also because uh, the death of the leader has not had a positive effect on them. Whereas the West End, uh, did it have anyone I wanted to kill really? That's my family. That's my friend. That's the cup. That's the creepy, the maybe creepy uh, f mother daughter thing. They're also not high ranking. Calhoun was the merchant. I don't remember if he had overtly... He was just like a fat guy that's like, I like to eat and not care about things, which is like... Ignorant, but not the biggest thing. I don't know what's up with these two, by the way. Do we go after Usher Talltree? That would not be great news for my other guy. I would like to find out whether or not this guy is up to no good. If I find out that he knew, knowingly did that, then he'd make a great candidate. And he's from a, 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 a district that's not at risk, which is also great news. I also just don't, I don't know Kimura Tadao, do I? Where is he located? I wish I could find him on the map. I think I saved him and he's probably now in the West End. But because I didn't, uh... Because, uh... Uh... What am I trying to say? Uh, I think I probably originally explored the area while he was gone. Because he probably had not returned yet from when I saved him. Could just run around that district with my search, with my, my instinct turned on. That's one way I could try to find him. I'm trying to wrap things up because I don't think that there, I don't think there's any genuine ticking clock in the story right now. But I think the fact that it's going to Pembroke might be us getting towards the end. In part because, uh... Yeah, that would be a fucked up move. Uh, in, in part because I can't help but think that, like, uh... Us dealing with each of the pillars of the community is clearly, like, a central story thing. Each chapter... Each major chapter has us meet a pillar of the, of the community and deal, make a choice about them. We've done all of them now, except the one that took us in in the first place, at Pembroke. So I imagine that there's a choice coming there. Sir, you are not welcome. Oh, it's a rather polite dismissal, honestly. I thought they would attack me on sight for showing up. There's like, sir, you are not welcome here. I went the wrong way. I'll take a look around to see if I can find the guy I've never found yet, but I went the wrong way if I wanted to find the detective. He's, I have that, I have that evidence about the detective, but he's from the wrong area. I might... I might also pay some money for more fortune telling, honestly. I don't really care about- oh, there he is. I don't really care about money, honestly, so I might as well just get some more clues filled in, since I might have trouble finding them on my own. We meet again, Mr. Kimura, in a more peaceful situation. Dr. Reed, still visiting London by night? We must both be nocturnal animals, you and I. After your captivity, I thought you'd be more cautious. Breathing the cold night air helps calm my mind, sir. I've had the most frightening nightmare since I escaped that filthy jail. How is the situation in the West End? I've heard rumors about armed men patrolling and fighting infected citizens in these very streets. I was lucky they didn't shoot me when I was abducted. May I ask you what you do for a living, Mr. Kimura? I am... I was a landlord, a wealthy one, and not a very kind one, I realized recently. Why this sudden epiphany? Is it because of your near-death experience? I was already feeling nostalgic about Weymouth, my hometown. With recent events, I'm thinking about going back there. 
Oh right, the rapey landlord from the other area, he's even worse than the people that sell people fake drugs. Cause he takes advantage of them and then he's like, Oh, you can't afford your- you can't afford your lodging? Well, I can work out a deal with you. And then he gets all rapey and I'm like, okay. We should probably take out that guy. Except he's from the district where that might collapse if I take out anyone. That's- that's frustrating. What can you tell me about your abduction? If you really want to know, I was locked in that building for three or four days. My jailer was insane, mumbling about sacrifice and voices. And why didn't he sacrifice you? That was the weirdest part. He claimed to spill blood was not enough. It had to be done when some stars were aligned. Which stars? That's the whole point. He wanted me to talk to him about some Red Queen configuration or constellation. I've never heard of such an astronomical term. What did he say about voices? He constantly whined about the voice of his master, ordering him to do terrible things. He wanted to silence the voice by offering blood. My blood. Why are you so nostalgic for your hometown, Tadao? I was focused so much on making money, I almost forgot that my relatives and friends are threatened by this epidemic. Have you heard anything from your family? I was not only a bad landlord, I was also a bad husband. I've not seen my wife and son for years. Busy, busy, busy. At least now you're ready to go back and see them. But don't be surprised if your son bears a grudge, sir. You make it sound like you suffered from an absent father yourself, Dr. Reed. Well, I'll keep your warning in mind. Have you no friends at all? Over the years, I'm afraid my greed turned me into my friend's adversary, while I became friends with my professional rivals. Those you grew up with didn't share your views on money and success. Would you believe I was once a member of poetry circles and an astronomy club? We were young, such joyful dreamers then, that I stopped laughing long ago. change? And is it what you really want? If so, it must come from within, not without. I've seen what an altruistic gesture can do. Nothing forced you to save me, Dr. Reed, but you did. I will follow your example in these matters from now on. Follow my example, then. Find a complete stranger and help him or her the best you can. Then invite him or her to do the same. You know what? That's not a bad plan, actually. And I should start with my family, for they are almost strangers to me now. Tell me, Tadao, why was your abductor so interested in your passion for astronomy? I don't know. We met a few times at the Royal Greenwich Observatory. He seemed to share my hobby. Then he invited me to his house and locked me in. Yes, astronomy is a fascinating subject. When I was a child, my mother bought a small telescope for my sister and I. We spent many a pleasant evening stargazing. Stars are not just dots in the sky, Doctor. They are the key to our understanding of the cosmos. They remind us how insignificant we are. You're right. But children love magic and stories. I remember our mother told us constellations have the power to protect us. Protection by the light of the stars. That's sweet. You remember the name of these constellations? Cygnus. The constellation that was supposed to protect Mary. Memory's a strange thing. I can recite without hesitation the names of the 88 constellations, yet I barely remember my own childhood. Did he fake his interest in astronomy to get close to you? No. In his madness, he spoke about a blood sacrifice to be made to his master when the stars aligned to a specific configuration.
Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. Hey, we found him. The city. There we go. That's one mystery down at the very least. So he ended up in this part of the West End. Got a few trips to go on. Let's go visit Lady Ashbury. She's right over there. And then I can loop back around to try to meet with Mr. Fortune Teller to find out more secrets if I want. Because I do, I do want to try to fill some of that stuff in and see how it can affect things. Ooh, unlocked. I guess I hadn't used that door yet from that side. Unless it got relocked. Admittedly, the time limit built into the idea of they're going to attack tonight is somewhat diminished when you know that you can stretch a night indefinitely in this game. And in fact, exclusively play in those nights that you stretch indefinitely. They don't let me use my vampire powers in here, even though there's no masquerade to maintain. Can't believe there's a third piece of the father statement. Can we stop this whole like daddy issues collectathon mechanic that we're doing in video games now? Where we're like, my I'm estranged from my dot my father. He disappeared one day. I don't understand him anymore. I know. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, that's glass. Never mind. And we're like, I'll, I know. I'll reconstruct our memory and and come to terms with him being gone via a collectathon. Admittedly, a three-part riddle is not as bad as Mass Effect Andromeda, where they were like, collect a bunch of weird, arbitrary collectibles all over the map, like this is Assassin's Creed, and then I'll, I'll play audio logs that are re relatively vital information. Because I'm an asshole. But all of these fathers that do this in all of these games, they're assholes. <laughs> this is a dick move in general. Elizabeth. I'm so happy to see you. I was so concerned. It is also good to see you in these darkened hours. Is all well, my dear? Indeed, we stand upon the precipice. Has the news reached you of Edgar Swansea? No. I returned home but moments ago. What of him? Your friend, the well-informed old Bridget, tells me the guard of Prewan has assaulted Pembroke. I fear Edgar tops their bloody list. Bridget? She is such a tragic figure. And yet, I sense deep inside, she has a delicate, fragile soul. What are you hiding? You went to the sewers. Did you speak with Harriet Jones? Indeed, Jonathan. I seek the truth, just as you do. I was concerned for your safety. McCullum draws too close to you for my comfort. Fear not. I've evaded the Hunters for many a year, and I intend to stay far from their gases, flames, and spikes. Now, speak to me of Dawson. I convinced Aloysius to embrace death as the ultimate gift of mortal life. I believe he found peace in the end. The cost must have been heavy indeed. I am proud of you, my love. Ascalon has defrocked me and threatens to hound me from the city. This was, no doubt, inevitable. You did what you thought was right at the time. One can ask no more. The important task now at hand is to help poor Edgar. Now I am assured of your safety. That is precisely my intention. Good. Now go, my dear, and return with good news with the greatest haste. Her take on the situation is, oh, you did what you did what you thought was right at the time. We can ask for no more. But the real take is that she I did what she pleaded with me to do. There's also the fact that, yeah, of the choices, that's one of the better ones. Uh, making him a vampire seems like a mistake. Making cruel, awful people immortal and powerful just seems like it perpetuates suffering for everyone, and he was a cruel and awful person. It's kind of like that really terrible movie, In Time, which was all about like, what if we took the wealth gap and turned it into a literal difference of how long people live? Because instead of money, everyone has time as a currency, and there's so many holes to poke in how that society works, and also it's a bad movie regardless. But 
uh, vampires are actually a decent idea of the of that, because vampires are almost exclusively de uh, depicted as being these ar aristocratic people. Like, we're a, a successful doctor that became a vampire, and she's got a mansion, and like they've got this creepy Illuminati club, and like, like yeah, there's the scowls, but even in this game, the scowls are like lesser vampires of lesser blood, and they're shitty, mindless beasts and stuff like that. Because there's if you can't be a proper aristocrat at being a vampire, then it's like you're not a real one and stuff like that. Uh, it's... It's like... It actually... The vam vampirism plays well into the concepts of like wealth gap and different... And inequality and so on and so forth. Because it's almost always these rich, affluent, sophisticated people that also, on top of everything else, get to be immortal. Hello. It's time for a... What? The fuck? What was that? I was hearing spooky sounds. Also, she did, didn't she just see me do that? What's doing? What is that sound? Keep hearing that sound. Not the train sound. There was a different one. It sounds like somebody teleporting around. Am I supposed to feel like I'm being stalked by the Ascalon Club? There it goes again. Oh well. Anyway, time to be spiteful and risky. If there's if there's any choice I might regret in this game, it might be this one, because it might plunge them under, and we might see the consequence of that. And that would suck, but I would question... Honestly, at that, if that happens, I'll be kind of annoyed with this game, because wiping out the crime family rather cleanly should not plunge an entire district into darkness as cleanly as it seems to. Fault, they say. Then the gangs, the epidemics, ah. the blame. Okay, so I'm hearing a fight happening. Okay, that's what that sound is. It's that thing again where a fight is happening between like vampires and skulls or vampire hunters. And as a result, you. But it's doing the weird thing where the, it's not. It's not simulating distance correctly for how far away the fight's happening. So the sounds are playing like they're happening right on top of me. But there's just some fight happening off camera somewhere. Okay, once the slashing started happening, I, I understood it. But yeah, I want her to die. Hello again, Miss Cox. Yeah, what do you want? You were the last one remaining. I killed your husband. I killed your lover. I even killed your old boss, if that's what you can call them. Am I going the wrong way? No, there's the- I see the trail now. You're the last leader of the Wet Boot Boys. Big old band of idiots. What if the other body was still over here? Bastard. Bloody bastard. First boo, then me. You tricked us good. Did I though? Did I really trick you good? Did I, was I really tricky? I don't know, I kinda just was like, hey, you're dead now. Thanks for this cool shotgun though. It's pretty cool. Is this the one I'm using right now? It's the... Remarkable Lupera. 458. This is it when it's double edged, double barreled. It's a whole hundred higher. It probably has not. Yeah, none of the upgrades are chosen yet. Neat. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I can increase its damage even more too. I can increase its damage so much. Forty percent bonus damage, and I have the materials for it. A lot of them, even. Yes. I'm not crazy about adding five stun when I get to have ten more, ten percent more damage again. Oh, it's gonna be so strong. It's gonna be the strongest gun. It's gonna be a mega gun. And I've got more experience. But also, I just really wanted to kill her. We'll see what the simulation does with that. I might feel bad about it. Well, that's neat. I got to wipe out all of the crime. Wow, there's a lot of densely packed hideouts around here. Like, almost more than are necessary, because this area is non-combat. Like, almost the entirety of the docks is non-combat. Or wait, no, the western docks is combat heavy, and that's where three of them are. I guess that makes sense. But there's still like, there's a lot of them in this region. 
Who wants to have a super gun? Yeah, I've, what kind of a, what weapon have I been using lately? The perfect mace. Well, it just does a ton of stun. It's all, all it's all on stun. Do we need a double barreled shotgun? My god, 800 damage. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Very high damage projectile for defeating- good for defeating like a particularly challenging boss or something. Charlotte's steak. Good for staking people for high stun and all that, but I just haven't been using an offhand steak really. Not so much. Did I already do the blood? I do already have the blood in there. Didn't I? I think I tried using that weapon and I turned away from it because I just wasn't getting the result I wanted. By and large. See more fish burn. Just getting some mats. How are we doing here? Grab a second one of those. Having one of these is probably generally enough. Yeah, I've got a de I've got a decent backlog of these items. Tempting to rest. I feel like if you sleep right now, you fuck up the main quest because it's saying that the attack's happening tonight. It'd be really weird if I was like, and then I left to come back later. Fuck off. 